What would happen if the sea just disappeared? Well, today we're about to find out. First of all, we're gonna find out what happens when the sea rises, and next we're gonna find out what happens if the sea literally disappears from the face of the earth. So this is what would happen if the sea rises to the highest level it could possibly be. So, as you can see over here, we're already losing parts of Brazil and areas around America. Miami is literally underwater now, and London is nearly underwater as well, and we're only 29 meters higher than the sea level than we actually are right now, which is obviously quite a lot to be fair but Miami's gone see you later Miami have a good time we're now 35 meters up and as you can see Australia has a massive like lake in the middle of the country which looks really cool because I'm not gonna lie this part of Australia nobody uses it anyway <laughs> like this is all desert nobody lives in the middle of Australia uh, they only live around the coast because it's too hot to live in the middle and there's too many creepy crawly spiders and that that they just don't go near there but as you can see now Miami is completely gone on 45 meters of rising water and New York is nearly gone with 45 Five meters risen and Cape Town is nearly gone as well but let's keep this going okay so we are now raising to 60 meters of sea level in the sky and as you can see there is a lot of water traveling through the Amazon the Amazon rainforest is is, is a bit in, in a bad way right now also a lot of Europe is now underwater Italy is no longer that famous boot shape that we're used to seeing it's sort of what well, it kind of is is it I don't know it's more like a, a curve but parts of Spain have been overflown and in the Middle East over here is losing a lot of land Istanbul is nearly covered with 73 meters of water and most of England, Wales, Scotland and Ireland is gone. Canada has lost a lot of land as well and the United States of America has also lost loads of land and Mexico is pretty much gone. The Darien Gap is pretty much gone as well. But let's keep rising this water because I feel like we're about to lose a lot of land now when we hit the 100 meter mark and there we go. Look at that. There is barely anything left of Mexico. Miami is completely underwater. New York is gradually going underwater. Water. Sydney it looks like it's about to be overtaken as well and then Europe and the UK Europe is gone like where's Europe gone that's Europe right there it's just disappeared not much damage has actually happened to South Africa yet obviously it's lost a bit of land but nowhere near compared to the other countries but look at Brazil oh wow Brazil and the Amazon have been overflown now we're 200 meters in the sky of risen water which is absolutely insane to me Moscow has just gone under see you later Moscow have a great time and now London's gone as well. Dakar's gone as well. Nairobi's about to fall. Rio de Janeiro is holding strong though and somehow New York has a little bit left and Los Angeles still surviving but Miami is gone. It's they're there with the fish now. It's moving like what's that place called? What's the underwater city called? Most of these famous cities and landmarks are moving like Atlantis right now. Like they're just <laughs> gone. You're gonna need like Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy to just throw them back up. Honolulu looks like it's gone as well and then Brazil is pretty much no more. North America America and South America are pretty much all gone. Now Europe has pretty much disappeared. But to be fair, South Africa's holding on. Like South Africa's doing all right. The South of Africa is also doing good. Sydney is one of the last cities standing in Australia. And then as you can see, just everything's gone. You can sort of see the outlines of the countries where they were. Like as you can see these outlines around here following my cursor. But everything's just disappeared. It's all, it's all vanished. Oh my God. Uh, Istanbul has now just been overflown. And Tokyo is gone as well. Jakarta has gone. Sydney has just been taken over. Kathmandu is actually surviving. And however you say this up here, they're somehow surviving as well. Most of these major cities are gone and we are 1,900 meters of flowing water from sea level. That is insane. Could you imagine if 1,900 meters of water actually did rise? Obviously it's not possible to happen, but this would literally, be, they would all be dead. We'd all have to live here or live over here or live in here or live in that. We would be all dead. The, aren't these like the mountains where that plane crashed and they made a movie on it i think they are they survived like they ate each other they were that rugby club let me know in the comments down below if it was that but now raising to 2,000 meters of sea level and we only have a few bits left obviously mount everest is gonna survive for a while and all the massive mountains because they're absolutely humongous but look at that Kathmandu. we have lima santiago they're still surviving a little bit but all the other major cities are gone we're now 4,000 meters of sea level risen that is absolutely insane lima is going on under. Santiago is going under. That is North and South America gone. And the only part we have left are little areas around here. And it's all gone now, it seems. I cannot see a single speck of land. And that's it. That is the entirety of the earth underwater. Uh, wow. Obviously, it's probably exactly that because of Mount Everest. But that is insane. Could you imagine if that was actually our life? But now we're going to take it back down. And we are going to see what would happen if we had no 
see at all if the water level just vanished the sun evaporated all of our water let's have a look at what it would look like so these are all the cities and countries coming back from being soaked in water which is obviously not a good thing because that means that we're all dead so at this point everyone watching this video it doesn't matter if the sea levels come back or they just disappear completely because we're all dead we're not alive anymore it's just an empty barren land of everything dead apart from the fish but the fish are about to go as well because we're getting rid of the water the water's going this is literally a life ending event for all those who can't breathe water and air at the same time so whoever survives this fair play because you just you've upped your stats you're, you're, you're moving mad but here we go this is the earth as we know it coming back to its usual state as you can see rio de janeiro's back sydney is back london's coming back moscow's back la's back miami's back they're all back but again this is only 50 meters of sea level rising and look at that look all the damage is actually done it's insane but now it's time to get rid of the water so here we go i imagine the most land well everyone's gonna have the same amount of land i guess because it's gonna be on the seabed but the mariana trench is gonna be the last bit of water to go i think i believe as you can see around alaska right now there is land being grabbed loads i'm not sure why uh and europe as well london has literally merged into france and the uk is now no longer recognizable same goes for russia and sydney and australia to be fair like they've just become a sort of blob into each other spain hasn't really changed much but the uk definitely has reykjavik is now getting more land on its city so iceland's getting more city um more land sorry and look at this this is absolutely insane this is only 300 meters of water and europe just looks completely different like this is meant to be europe here if you told me that was europe on 350 meters of water taken from the ocean i'd be like whoa that's crazy new york's got a little bit of a change to its sort of border it's been pushed out a little bit more los angeles looks the same then we've got rio de janeiro again similar to new york but these random islands that are popping out at the bottom of the ocean that is cool let's watch out for them but as we keep losing water the world keeps getting land reykjavik is keeping on expanding now we have these random islands at the bottom of the ocean that again are expanding and this is 700 meters worth of water being taken from the ocean obviously all round not just in one spot mauritius seems like it's coming into the fold now and it just looks so weird look at russia how does russia get bigger than what it is now like that is a massive blob of land up here that they've just grabbed from 1188 meters of a fall of sea level which is obviously insane i cannot wait to see what this looks like when the sea is completely gone the mariana trench has to be the last part because isn't that the deepest part in the ocean i think it is but we'll have to see we'll have to see and look at all of this land coming into the fold here this is absolutely insane to me like imagine this piece of land between america and europe that would be so useful this random blob of land you could just fly there live there for a few days then fly over to america so you can get like a nice stopover instead of getting a horrible stopover somewhere else and not have to like an 11 hour flight someone needs to invent that someone needs to invent a new country in the middle of europe and america <laughs> but look at all that land look at look at iceland oh my god look at the top of your screen and look at sydney as well sydney's getting so much land and here we go this is where we reach the seabed all around the world look at this look how much land we are getting from this seabed but let's watch out for the deepest parts of the ocean wherever there is blue that is considered the deepest parts of the ocean we are now 5,000 meters of water being sucked up from the earth and look at this we are at 5,970 meters we have is this the mariana trench here am i wrong in saying that i want to say it's right maybe i'm wrong but look at tokyo look at tokyo's coastline that's insane i guess that's where the tectonic plates meet so it's like deeper or where they've like slipped i'm not sure someone let me know in the comments but as you can see the water just keeps on draining tokyo still has a bit of water around its border and so does miami but where has it all gone tokyo's still got a little bit is there any more water on show i cannot see any more water anywhere i don't think i can i think that's about it unless i'm blind 9999 meters and all the water is gone and this would be our earth we could walk from london to new york we could walk from santiago to moscow we could walk from mauritius to reykjavik we could walk from sydney to los angeles it would take you a long time but you technically could and this is what it would look like if our had no more water so that's about it please make sure to like and subscribe oh and one more thing um bye